<laughs> Hello. Hey, what's up, Orville? So as you can see, I have quite a few boxes here, even off screen. <coughs> Good. So I'm going to give it a minute or so. Um, but I have one from Hasbro Pulse. One from Amazon Japan. One from Tokyo Collectibles. One from Mandarake. And one from HLJ. And it's been a minute, and I don't really remember everything that's in here. <laughs> yes, more toys. So... I think I'll start with the smaller ones first, just to get them out of the way. Oh, nice. Happy Meal Transformers. Very cool. Alright, so... Hey, Felix. Gonna start with the um, Hasbro Pulse. There should only be one thing inside here. My Ranger Slayer. So as usual, artwork is very beautiful. Box seems fairly intact. Mm, it's actually a little smashed on the side here, but not too bad. A little caved in. But still, figure looks awesome. Hopefully I got the right number of feet. But yeah, pretty cool. Hi, Saber. Hey, Megadon. Welcome, welcome. So that's the first thing. Very cool. Got Ranger Slayer. Get that box out of here. All right, so next up, I think I'll do the Toku Collectibles one. Hey, Bomber Holmes. Yes, the, the DX Gigant Driller has light. Very cool. So this is my CSM Tetzala, which I've been waiting for for a while. The Kiva belt came out a while ago, and they finally got the Tetzala. So I'm pretty excited about that. Although I have yet to open the Kiva belt, but I'll get there one day. All right, next up we'll do Amazon Japan. There's a little pull tab here. <laughs> That's right, wake up. All right, so there's a couple of things in here. And they always shrink wrap everything, so I have to cut it open. So we have uh, finally got two new uh, cars for uh, Earth Granner. These never, well I shouldn't say that, so they never went up on HLJ that you could order them, but I checked last night randomly because I just searched Earth Granner on HLJ every so often, and it showed both of these and the shark pants, but all discontinued. They came up in the search, but specifically said discontinued. So I'm wondering if they're going to be getting them just super late, and so they put those pages up as a placeholder, but they're just marked discontinued until they actually get stock to put up. So, I don't know why it's... I mean, these came out, like, at least two weeks ago. I'm really not sure why it's taken them so long to get the stuff, but finally got these from Amazon Japan. All right, this was a random thing. Um, this was the last one of these that I needed. The Change Troopers. 
from Microman, Magni Powers. And uh, Amazon Japan had one for like $9 or something, which I thought was a good price. So I was ordering stuff anyway. So I grabbed it. And then the last thing in here. Actually, I guess I'll leave that rubber banded. There we go. So this is the August Tetherby Coon magazine with the red um, Machine Roland. So I wanted to grab that. I don't know why they're doing all these things in red now, but so be it. Uh, I saw a video on it. The baby will communicate with the belt itself. Oh, yeah. Did you get the CSM blade belt? I did. Amazon USA doesn't have Earth Granter. Yeah, they probably won't yet. Um, they might eventually. But it'll be from like a third party seller. Alright, so that should be it for Amazon Japan. Just those few couple things. Alright, so next up I'll do the Mandarake box. I really do not remember what is in this, but we will see. So this has, um, finally was able to get this set. This was like one of the last three sets from uh, Kabaya that I needed. And this is actually really cool. So it is a three pack of the Transformers gum. And it's got um, Hotspot, the Protectabot. And then it's also got a War Within Optimus, which is kind of neat. But then it's got... Um, Deathsaurus, I think his name is, from Victory. And the cool thing is, uh, he comes with, like, the whole gimmick of him was that he had, almost like Soundwave, like his chest piece turned into another Transformer. And so, um, it looks like the two chest Transformers come with the other two, so it's important to get all three of them. Because for the longest time... I could find Optimus and Deathsaurus separately, but I could not find Hotspot. So I was like, I gotta get the three pack. And I'm glad I did one because I wanted Hotspot, but two because he's got one of the chest transformers for Deathsaurus, so. Very important. I just got YouTube after doing some stuff on Wiki and I saw this and I said, why not join in? Well, hey, Shining Star, thanks for joining. And Gaming Slayer, hello, welcome. Um, no, War Within Optimus Prime. Um, War Within was, uh, ID, uh, maybe it wasn't ID, it might have been Dreamwave, that's how old it is. It's a comic they did, like, back, way back when Transformers finally became, like, a, like a, obviously they did Transformer comics back in the day in the 80s with Marvel, but then the license went to a small company called Dreamwave. I want to say in the early 2000s. Didn't last long, and then IDW got it, and they've had it ever since. Um, but they did a comic called War Within, and it was like way, way back in the day on Cybertron. And uh, Optimus Prime had this alt mode you see here. So, obviously I think War for Cybertron is more popular at this point, whether you're talking about either the new trilogy of toys or the uh, video game from back in the day. When are you going to review CSM Blade Belt? Um, I don't know. I don't know that I will. It's been a while since it came out, and it's really big and super involved, so I don't know. No, the video game... Well, oh, you know what? Mm. You might be right, actually. I think you're right. My mistake. It looks so similar. I mean, War Within was a thing that happened, but I think you're right. This is the first video game form. See, I'm thinking of there's War for Cybertron and there's Fall of Cybertron. And for whatever reason, the Fall of Cybertron one, I think of more. Like, actually, I think I have... As I knock stuff over. 
This is Magnus repainted from Prime from the second video game. And this is the form that I always think of. For whatever reason, I forget that this happened, but you're absolutely right. So thank you for that. But The War Within was a comic that had a very similar looking form to this. But you're right, this is the first video game form. And then, well, now I can't remember. War Within looked very similar, but it was more kind of like a, yeah. Good call. Way to stick to your guns, because you were absolutely correct. Um, okay, now we have, this is another Transformers gun set. And I'm very interested, I kind of want to, I guess they taped these all together. Going to take this off. But uh, I was looking for a Star Saber, because I have Victory Leo for a while. And I wanted to get Star Saber. Oops, I just ripped the box. That's right, I don't keep these boxes. I don't know why you would tape these instead of just using, like, I've seen them use, um, like, a thing of plastic that they just put around and then they tape the plastic, but. <laughs> you're definitely right. You were correct. Yes, you're right. They did have a titanium war within. That is correct. War for Cybertron is going to be on Netflix. Yeah, I have the hot link. Yes. So... I was kind of hoping this would say on the back. But anyway, um, this is like original classics Optimus Prime. And then this is like a G1 Optimus Prime. And then I have um, Star Saber. But I don't know if this can combine with the Victory Leo that I have. I'm hoping it can. I was hoping it would say on the box if it could or not. Maybe in the directions it will. I don't know. Fingers crossed. What else is in here? Oh, here we go. This is a snug fit. Oof. So this is a uh, mini plus set of uh, Q Ranger. So this is the other four. So I did recently get the set that has um, Lion and then uh, Swordfish, Chameleon, Wolf, and Bull. This is the other four. So it's Lion again, but then um, Scorpion, Gold and Silver, just robots, and then the Pink Hawk. Now technically I also already have Orange from the set with the Dragon. So I will have two of him. But it's just good because you can display things all. Like, it's much easier to display these all together. And then the other set in here. This is the... Um, oh, you know what? This is going to be all doubles now, actually, isn't it? I did not think about this. But <laughs> this is the... Uh, the movie form, the Cerberus. But honestly, these were so cheap. I think it was like $10 for a set of five or six of these. So it's like, you know, you're paying $2 a box. It's like, whatever, I'll take the duplicates. If it turns out I don't need them, I'll figure out something to do with them. But um, this way you can display, instead of just having pieces sitting around, I can display this full robot, this full robot, the other full robot, and then um, the Ryuteo all at the same time. So even though I will have duplicates, I can display four full robots and like I said, they're so cheap. It's literally like, I think this was 10 bucks. Does it say anywhere on here? It does not. But yeah. The, I don't know why the Q Ranger mini plot are so cheap, but they are not in demand right now. I think Reteo, all told, I paid like $8 for five boxes or something like that. It's crazy. All right, so this is all done. How is Miniplug going to do the little lion mech from Q-Ranger? They did. Um, I don't know what it looks like, but it does exist. I've seen it on Mandrake. All right, let me get this stuff out of the way. Put this over here. Yeah, the two robot masters. Yeah, so I'm just going to, fingers crossed, I don't know if they'll go together. Because they're not, like, 
They did ones way back that were smaller, and I'm pretty sure they did not. But these are the more recent ones, so I'm hoping they do. Uh, let's see. Hold on, I'm missing comments like low here. Uh, uh, but I don't remember how it turned out. I've always imagined Scramble City, which was part of the old combiners from G1 days, and the limbs became either an arm or a leg, could be switched with all the others. Yeah, they did. Uh, in Japan, they had a cartoon called Scramble City, which is probably what you're referencing. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I read your comment wrong. You're just telling me about Scramble City. Yes, exactly. <laughs> um, they have uh, limbs as well. They're somewhere in here. Um, they did like a generic line of like jets and tanks and, and kind of no-name transformers, but they were part of the same line. And that's what the um, the hotspot can work with. So, should be good. One day when I eventually get to build all them. Am I getting the SMP GoGo 5 stuff? Absolutely. Actually, Victory Robo should be in this box. So let's open it up. Excellent segue. I got Kishido and Five Nights set in my DX Kishido complete. Excellent. I love the Gogo Five Mega. Yeah, I do too. Alright. Bubbles, bubbles. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ultraman Vinyl. This is the weird shark monster from the first episode. He was back ordered, but then I finally got one, so hooray, Shark Monster. Looks like just his arms move. He's fun, though. He's a crazy design. Are you getting Bill Dio Little Brother? <laughs> he should be in here as well. And then here is uh, Beta Smash. Vinyl for Beta Smash. And then, this is another little vinyl. What's this guy's name? Neronga? This guy was from like episode two or three or something. So he's cool. A couple Ultraman vinyls there. Uh, also, looks like we have the Ultra Action figure for Beta Smash as well. So we got that. Right, Gigant really looks like Bill Dyer. He really does. He really does. All right, we got the RKF for zero two. We have this is zero beyond ultra vehicle. I think that's the last one. I don't think any more of those are coming out. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Then we got uh, RKF. Cyclone Joker Extreme. For you have Fortnite figures? Uh, I did have some Fortnite figures. I reviewed some of them back in the day. Alright, and then here is the Arc 1 Singularize set. So basically, you can make Arc Zero and Arc One because they give you two different torsos. So you'll have one figure and one torso sitting around next to it. It's never over, that's right. Nice. Yeah, Double's really good, and I like Gaim a lot too, obviously. Alright, here we have uh, Soto 8. So this has, um, what is this guy's name? Ikazuchi. And then you have a Huma Gear. And then you have Badox. And then you have the weird blue version of Badox. And then you have Zamanos. So finishing off those movie villains. And then throw an Ikazuchi in there and a human gear. So, there you go with that. Uh, let's see, what is this? Ah, 
good little boys. Got the third weapon set with the cement mixer and the trash truck slash vacuum cleaner, which is hysterical. So definitely excited to check those out. And then here is the super mini plot for Victory Robo. Also very excited for this. I'm really behind on my Super Mini Plot though. I still have the Sun Vulcan one. And, um... Well, both Sun Vulcan ones. Wasn't there another one? I can't remember. I feel like I'm back too. Uh, let's see. Me and my friend... Oh, I just wanted to... Did you make... Did they make an RKF Fang Joker? Yes. I have reviewed that. You can find it on my channel. Have you heard about Kamen Rider Saber? Yes. I think that should be cool, but we don't know too much about it yet. They just kind of unveil the logo. Um, RKF Sukiyomi, Poppy Naki, and Ikazuchi Wen. Dude, I would totally buy an RKF Sukiyomi. Poppy, I feel like they've already come and gone through X8, so that's probably not going to happen, but Sukiyomi could happen. Ikazuchi would be cool. Naki, too. Alright. You're welcome, Long, for telling me about RKF Kamen Rider. <laughs> I type with one hand real fast. Heck yeah, I keep calling the clear barracks Wetrix. <laughs> okay. I can't wait for Victory Mars. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they're going to do Victory Mars. It's obviously the only one they haven't announced yet. It would be nice for them to do it just to finish, you know. Why do three out of four and not do the fourth one? Oh, I'm like, this looks like it's on top of something, but it's because it's shaped so weird. Because they have that weird shape. But here you go. Gigant Driller. Here he is. Should be pretty fun. And then the last thing in this box is a thing of uh, Gashapon Progrise Keys. In an attempt to get Agito. Have I seen GoGo5? No. I've seen, uh, I've only seen Lightspeed Rescue, but I have not seen Go Go 5. Alright, so I don't even remember what's in this. Well, it looks like I got four different colors, so that's good. Um, one of these should be Agito, probably this gold one. Um, but yeah, Agito is the only Legendary Rider key that I don't have yet. And, um, for whatever reason, it's just because, like, it came out right when everything started, and, uh, HLJ just didn't get them in, and then I couldn't really find them anywhere, and I was looking at Mandarake, and then randomly one day I just happened to check, and they just had them. So I guess they were waiting on some stock to come in, and they finally got it. So I jumped on it. And with HLJ, you can never tell, but, um, you're just gonna get four random ones, and I think the assortment was just, um... I know it was Agito, I think x -Aid, maybe Blade and Build? I don't know what these are. I'm just guessing off the colors, but maybe this is Decayed? I don't know. But anyway, the most recent Gashapon set, I'm hoping this is Agito, so then that would be the last one I need, and then finally have all the Legend Riders. So that would be good. Yeah, they, it's not going to get a DX one, unfortunately. Um, for whatever reason, they did, like, 15 out of 20 as DX. And then O's and Wizard were Candy Toy only. Agito was Gashapon only. Is that it? Maybe they did all the rest of them as DX. I can't think of any others. I know Wizard and O's were Candy Toy. And I know, oh, Forze and Hibiki were like special promotions so they were also candy toy so yeah i think just those five so hibiki forze wizard and o's were all candy toy and then agito is the only gashapon so he's gonna have that line down the middle which is not great but nothing you can really do about it um so yeah i think that's it i think that's everything for my boxes here.
So yeah, got some pretty good stuff. Got some model kits and whatnot from Mandarake. Got some new stuff here from HLJ. I wasn't going to ship, but it was like a decent amount of stuff, so I figured why not. Probably won't ship again until the end of July. There's not terribly too much. Actually, it might not ship till like mid-August, because there's not terribly too much for the rest of the month. I think I just got charged for like a metal, candy toy metal set for Ultraman Z. Um, another RKF for, I think, Omegio just came out. Um, I'm trying to think what else comes out this month. I think there's like two of those card and metal sets for Ultraman Z. Maybe a vinyl or a Ultra action figure or two, but there's not terribly much. So, I don't know what's coming out in August, but we'll see. Uh, let's see, let's see. I heard DX Gigant Driller Box is bigger than the last two DX Mecha Kira Major. No. I would say it's pretty much the same. Maybe, maybe slightly bigger, but it's not much bigger. I bought a Bogle Driver off of Amazon Japan for 1800 yen plus shipping and it's coming on Wednesday. Nice. The weapon from Z is supposed to come out soon. Oh, that's right. The, he's got like that trident looking staff. Excellent, that is true. I forgot about that. That does come out this month. Yeah, this month still. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. As far as reviews, I would say probably uh, the Cure Major stuff will definitely happen sooner rather than later. Um, still have Soto 7 to do, but then Soto 8. And I don't know, maybe Ranger Slayer. I might wait for the rest of the wave, though. Hasbro charged me like a week ago, but just hasn't shipped them yet. I don't know what they're doing. It's kind of a bummer. Oh, you don't have to apologize. No big deal, Cyber. Um, probably do these couple Ultraman things. Probably do the cars from Earth Graner magazine. So not terribly much more to review. Most stuff that I just kind of open on my own, but... Uh, yeah, should be fun, should be good stuff. Where did Tatsalot go? Oh, he's over here. That's right, he's hiding. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions, otherwise I'll probably wrap it up. Let's see, how are Z's next four medals being released? Um, I think it's just a three metal set. I think they're just selling them as a three metal set for like probably less than 10 bucks. Well, yeah, it has to be, because I think the card and three metal sets are, like, eight bucks. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Corey? Yes. You probably just woke up, so I apologize, but you missed it. Let's see. Highlights for you. Um, Soto 8. Things that you would care about. More uh, Q-Ranger mini pla. probably all you care about <laughs> it's earth grander stuff ultraman z rkfs super mini plug gigant driller ranger slayer <laughs> when is ultraman g supposed to appear i'm not sure hopefully soon i would say probably within a month or so if i had to guess because his stuff his toys come out either august or september so probably either end of August, early September, I would say he's going to show up, if I had to guess. I'm going to buy two RKF Zeros. Yeah, there you go. So you can display both at the same time. You'll have an extra torso, I guess. Or two extra torsos. So I don't know. That's weird. You watching the movie today? Yes. Thank you for bringing that up. I should say that. Um, Heisei Generations Forever. Officially licensed and uh, English subtitled today. Uh, go over to the Nerdist YouTube channel uh, at 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. The panel is from 4 to 5 Pacific Time. And then the movie starts at 5 Pacific Time. 
There's going to be a, a special little introduction message from one of the Common Rider actors, which is very cool. They haven't told us who yet. They're keeping it secret. But th that's going to be, I think, like right at 5. Then they're going to play the movie. And then at the end, after the movie, stay in the chat because they're going to announce uh, a way to enter a contest to win an autographed driver from the actor who gave the message at the beginning. So definitely head over to the Nerdist YouTube channel, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 Eastern. Watch the panel, then write into the message, then write into the movie, and then at the end of the movie, contest details. So block off some time. Uh, definitely check it out. I'm going to be checking it out for sure. Very excited. Um, even if you've seen the movie before, you know, just log in, show your support. Even if you just let it play and you come back later or whatever. But, I mean, I, I like the movie. Especially I like the last, like, half hour because that's when, like, all the suits show up and it's, you know, everyone's, you know, martial arting. And <laughs> but seriously, like, uh, that's the funnest part of the movie to me when all the, all the old riders show up and it's a big battle at the end. So that's always a good time. Um, and I'm excited to see what this message is from this uh, actor. I'm really excited to see what that's going to end up being. That's correct. Every common Rider fan should watch it. Have you seen Gates Majesty? The DVD has the watch included. Yes, I, I did see that, and I have already reviewed the watch. Check it out on my common Rider Geo playlist. Um... Oh, it's Soto time? Well, you can have it on your computer and check the Soto uh, blog on your phone or iPad. you got multiple devices. You can multitask. I think it'll be Waz. Oh, dude, that would be funny. I would love it to be Waz. I've seen the movie, but heck, I'll watch it. Yeah, exactly. I've seen it before, too. I'm still going to check it out. That medley of kicks was incredible. That's true. RKF figures can hold... RH figure H attach weapons. Oh, cool. That's good to know. Yeah, that's the problem. RKFs don't really come with enough accessories, in my opinion. Some of them are okay. Like I just did last night, um, Burning Falcon, and he has, you know, the Slash Riser, but then he has a smaller one you can clip to his belt. That's nice. But, like, Zero One didn't really come with, like, it would have been nice if he came with the attached caliber, or, like, if um, Vulcan came with the attached shotgun, something like that. They could just do an accessory pack. Just throw a bunch of accessories in a box for ten bucks and or fifteen bucks. Sell that. I'd buy that. Go back and supplement everybody. Um, but yeah. So let's see. What else should I advertise? Definitely watch the Common Rider stream tonight. Episode three of Teletran Fun should be out soon. Uh, Rai should be putting that out soon. Um, we recorded part of episode four, so that should be coming soon as well. We have to do the second part, but, uh, definitely check that out at Teletran Fun, T-E-L-E-T-R-A-A-N-F-U-N, at Teletran Fun on Twitter. Uh, you can also search us on, I think our, it's on Anchor is the platform for the podcast, but you can also find it on iTunes, Spotify, pretty much wherever you listen to podcasts. So check that out. Geek Each Week still exists not going away it's just kind of on hiatus because we're kind of pouring our energy into teletran fun but uh, geek each week will eventually return but in the meantime good bunch of episodes of that to go check out we put up the commentary for the tmnt 1990s movie not too long ago so if you haven't checked that out that was a good time um obviously rr the streets we just had it last night but it's every friday so definitely check that out at rr the streets on twitter and it's every friday at 10 eastern 10 p.m eastern on the RRR Infinity YouTube channel. So definitely check that out. I think that's it. I think that's all my things to advertise. <laughs> my various endeavors. Um, but yeah, definitely excited for the, the Common Rider thing. Because the more support we show, the more toys we can get over here. Heisei Week is over after today. So definitely go to bluefinbrands.com slash Common Rider. All the sales they're having. They have figure arts, figure rise, Soto, go over there and pre-order that uh, Kuga Soto special form set. Um, because if the more of those we buy or pre-order, when the next one comes, they'll be able to offer it. And then we can save a little bit of money. We don't have to go through middlemen and shipping and all that. So definitely get over there. <laughs> yes, get the gold power set. Listen to Corey. So 
bluefinbrands.com slash Kamen Rider. They got a lot of good stuff over there, honestly. Some belts, if you missed out, X-Aid, uh, the Buckle Driver 2, the Sengoku Driver. It's like a greatest hits of belts over there. Uh, Deno's belt is over there. Um, I think they still have some, like, CSM Garen pre-orders available. I think they might even have the Ixa belt pre-order up still. It might have sold out. I don't know. Uh, but there's a lot of good stuff. If you're missing out on some stuff or you, man, there's a belt I missed, go check it out. They might have it. So, um, <laughs> yes. But seriously, I understand. Trust me, I'm not saying you have to buy everything. But I'm saying go look, browse, you know, if there's something that jumps out at you. Um, but if, I, I, you know, I can't command you to buy things. I get that. I'm not trying to put any pressure on you. But I'm just saying, if you're a fan of Soto, and that set is something you're interested in, then there's no reason, then you can't afford it, and you wanted it anyway, buy it from them, because it'll make the availability in the future even more popular and more available. So, um, you know, I'm not trying to, don't, don't put yourself in any financial hardships. <laughs> I'm not saying that. But if it was something you were going to buy anyway, get it from them, everybody wins. They might, yeah, I mean, if these do well. I think it's all about right now what Bandai had, like, back stock of. So maybe they didn't have any build drivers to give them. But, um, you know, if they find some or if some become available, I'm sure they could get them maybe. You know, I, I'm sure Bill did well enough that there's probably some build drivers floating around somewhere. If there's still gamer drivers, I'm sure there's probably still build drivers. Um, but, yeah, it's an exciting time. I, I went to Amazon and bought... They have a bunch of those Kamen Rider t-shirts, which are awesome. Um, so I got two of them. They, Amazon's had them preparing for shipment for like a week. Just ship them already. Come on, I want my shirts. Let's go. Um, but I feel like they're like $30 a t-shirt, which is not the best. But I feel like you go to Hot Topic and you buy like a novelty tee and it's like, what, 20 25 So, I mean, for something that was premium Bandai... And we're getting it here now with free shipping from Amazon. I don't think it's that bad. Pretty good price. Um, so I definitely bought two. I think they're going to announce some more apparel stuff. Because I think the apparel did very well out the gate. So I think they're going to be announcing some more apparel stuff. But we'll see. Um, I wouldn't mind some hoodies. I'll tell you that. I want like a slate gray hoodie with just the Tatova logo boom right in the right in the center that's what i want um ryuki dragon knight and hibiki are my favorite riders yeah we were we were watching dragon knight at one time Corey. um and i would like to get back to that uh i was enjoying it very much all right let's see i guess that's pretty much it i think i've shilled everything i need to shill all the boxes have been opened. I'm looking around, and for having five boxes, I feel like I don't really have that much stuff, but it's fine. Um, I do have two more Mandarake boxes that should be coming very soon. They're smaller, though. Um, I don't know. They're small enough that I might not do a video. I might just open them up and take a picture or something like that. Uh, so stay tuned to my Twitter. Oh, I should probably just tell you. You guys probably already have it, but my own Twitter, at CLong83, in case you don't already follow me on there. Come follow me on there. Um... <laughs> you heard it you commented on it so you heard it uh but yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys thank you so much for joining uh enjoy the rest of your saturday and you got about a little less than four hours until that heisei movie so check it out nerdist youtube channel i'm sure they're probably just at nerdist on youtube so check them out and i don't do social media what how do you not do social media you gotta do something Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, pick a favorite. Anyway, thank you guys so much for joining. I'm out of here, and uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday, and definitely check out Heisei Generations Forever. So, bye guys. My giant finger.